Okay, I've added a, a voice over to the screen recording because the microphone wasn't working when I was actually recording it on the, the phone. Uh, so I managed to get 577 metres today uh, and what I did, I turned off the the Wi-Fi and I turned off the, the Bluetooth on the, the phone settings and... Um, then in the app, I flew it manually. Um, so you, you can just see from the screen recording what's happening here. So this is a manual control and I'm just about to take off and it gives you an idea of the, the weather, which was uh, snow flurries, uh, breezy uh, and very cold and misty. So not ideal flying conditions. Uh, previously, I'd managed Take to off. get 150 Home point updated. using the phone without uh, putting it into aircraft mode, turning on the aircraft mode. Um, and I was quite happy with that, you know, a lot better than the 50 metres from the, the Neo 1. Uh, I later tried turning on the, the aircraft uh, mode on the, the mobile phone and I managed to get 250 to 300 metres. Um, and that was, um, I was really impressed with that. Uh, today, I thought I'd try it again. And this time, I decided to put it into aircraft mode and turn off everything and then just turn back on the, the Wi-Fi to obviously connect to the app. And this is the results I actually got here. So you can see from this uh, bottom left-hand side, um, you can see the, the distance here uh, and the speed and height. Um, so we're about 100 metres now. And uh, previously with the phone, Without putting it into aircraft mode, uh, I managed to get, you know, 150 metres, which I thought was really good. Um, I then heard on the, the internet uh, via YouTube that if you turn on aircraft mode, which basically turns off any of the, the Wi-Fi uh, on your phone, you can actually increase the, the distance. So I did try that and I found I managed to get to 250 to 300 metres. So I did that yesterday and it really, really chuffed with that. Um, today, I decided to put it into aircraft mode, turn off all the different types of Wi-Fi and uh, turn, I turned on just the, the Wi-Fi uh, signal so that would connect and they could fly it um, and also turned off the Bluetooth so the Bluetooth wasn't connected and this is part of the reason that the, the microphone, my Bluetooth microphone wasn't actually recording in the, on the, the app so I've had to do this voiceover. So at this point I'm, I'm really happy with this, you know, 500 metres, way in excess, almost double the distance. I wanted to avoid going over the railway, but also want to avoid uh, getting close, close to the power lines here because I obviously don't want to hit them and they're likely to affect the, the Wi-Fi transmission. So uh, I'm trying to avoid getting too close to the the power lines by going higher and changing course. And just as I get to the power lines, you know, I'm about 577 meters. Uh, basically, I lose connection. You know, the Wi-Fi has Return to home. out from the, the phone. Now, I had several minutes where the phone app was just blank and I was starting to panic, thinking I'd lost the, the drone. But I knew from past experience that the return to home landing in really quickly 
and it's amazingly accurate. So at this point, a few minutes later, I'm really delighted to find that the hear the drone coming, uh, I see it, it reconnects, and this is it coming back down. Now, the drone took off from my small rucksack here on the, the ground, and previously I was really impressed at how good the return to home was because it returned previously back to the, the rucksack. I thought maybe that was a bit of a fluke, but in this instance, again, the return to home takes me straight back to the, the rucksack and the, the Neo 2 landed quite happily back in the, the rucksack. So GPS and return to home, just absolutely fantastic. So I hope this explains and it helps you guys. Okay, right, cheers.